This is Jerry from Alternative Automotive. This car, it's a Chevy Cruze. A lot of these around. A lot of problems with them, but normally not too bad. This car has completely kicked my butt. I uh, This car came in with a complaint of the low oil pressure light being on on the dash. It just said it had low oil pressure all the time. Engine sounded fine. Everything looked fine. Customer already did a couple things and didn't fix it. We went ahead and diagnosed it, and it uh, turns out that the PCM was bad. It had a bad 5-volt reference in it. This is the PCM here. This is the engine control module. So I went ahead and put a new PCM in it, programmed it, drove the car, gave it back to the customer. Everything's fixed. Everything's fine. He drove it maybe another 10, maybe 20 miles, and this thing is just burning the ignition coil out, which is this. But it's only burning out number one, which I thought was... Pretty odd, especially if we just put the PCM in and he had no complaints of a coil issue before. Long story short, I finally found in this wiring connector right here, there was fluid in these two pins right here in the corner, and it plugs into this connector right here, this black one. And I thought, holy cow, man, this thing is actually getting a fuel injector pulse into the ignition coil pulse which is actually holding the driver on and just melting the thing down so i blew it all out cleaned it all out put some dielectric grease on it put everything back together drove it car's fixed sent it off car leaves for two weeks and it comes back with the exact same codes exact same ignition coils burnt up and i thought no way first thing i want to check for water in this connector so I pull this connector out, and sure enough, yesterday, this thing has water in it. I thought it was water. So I checked the wiring diagram just to see what in the world, how water could get into this. I've heard of this problem, but I have never seen it. This connector has no oil pressure, no nothing like that. The only kind of fluid-type pressure sensors or stuff like that is the thermostat heater, which is electric on this car. I pulled the thermostat electric plug... And this connector is just full of coolant. It's called wicking. Basically, the coolant pressure was coming through the heater and going through the casing of the wire all the way through all this, all the way back to the connector and pushing coolant into the plug that actually goes into the PCM and then jumping signals in between two different things. I'm going to tell you right now, I, I feel pretty proud that I can find a lot of stuff, but this one, it, it just, I about gave up on this car the last time I worked on it because it just kept kicking my butt. But we finally figured this thing out. Holy cow, this is a tough one. You got a question or anything, just give us a call. 636-368-8267. Thanks.